While I'm taking the board out, I suppose we can talk about things like um, a few people have asked me um, in various levels of uh, intensity as to why I've gone and commercialised Flex Boardview and uh, yeah, given that Open Boardview was well open. And it really comes down to the fact that in order for me to put the time in to advancing the software, yeah, it is a lot of time and uh, investment. And I've already put a good six months to, well, six to nine months of very active time originally de expanding the open board view in the first place. Uh, and now with me sort of pushing the new features like the PDF integration, I sort of thought, well, yeah, the existing one works just fine as it is. You know, you don't, it's not something you absolutely have to have. It's just a very nice convenience aspect, something that does make the job easier. And so I'm thinking, well, I'm not inhibiting people from being able to get their work done. I'm just simply offering a greater optimization at a price. Now, of course, the software is licensed in such a way that anybody can commercialize it if they want. Now, one of the big concerns is, is like, well, people are going to, well, you know, you're not going to, you're going to make all these changes and you're not going to, oh, man, I've got flux on that, I'll have to clean that up. Uh, yeah, you're just going to hog them and you're, you're taking advantage of all the work that people have already done in open board view. And it's like, yeah, I mean, to that, to a degree, there's a bit of truth in that. But there's also the fact that a great majority of the code that is currently in open board view is what came from my own keyboard. Um, in fact, it's been a bit of a point of contention that I've added so much code that we're now having to, uh, in the open board view, we're now having to look at splitting the files up because there's just simply too much code in there and it's starting to be a little bit tricky to have to manage it. But getting back to the point, uh, the way I have done this in the past with other open source commercial integrations is that the commercial integration uh, software ends up paying, or at least allows me to continue to develop the software, which in turn then allows me to contribute more back to the open source version in due time. Uh, there's a lot of smaller changes that will get pushed back into Open Board View itself. Um, just things like decoders and um, you know, bug fixes, improved display uh, type options. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that finds its way back. And also there's uh, a lot of libraries that get developed within the um, the software which then because the library um, I end up putting them out free as well or back into the open source. Uh, there was a prior a prior project um, that I did around about the start of 2000. I think it was about 98 I started it and it was an email filtering software system and it very much started the same way. Um, the uh, I don't really know my way around on this particular board, so I'm sort of stuttering a little as I inspect what I'm doing to make sure I don't completely stuff it up. And also it gives the camera a chance to catch up. Um, yeah, there was an email filtering software, and I liked what they'd done. But of course, uh, as per the open source world, I decided, well, you know, I want to make some own changes. So I did that. And that was predominantly an internal commercial project um, within the business that I was with at that time. And I ended up releasing a lot of software libraries regarding email filtering, uh, many of which are actually still used to this day. And we're talking 20, you know, over 20 years ago, and they're still used. And a lot of them are used by a great number of open source projects now. Um, they're very dependent on those libraries that I put out. So I guess what I'm saying in a roundabout kind of way is that, sure, um, you know, I can 
I could uh, stop doing open source. Um, sorry, rather I should say I can stop doing the commercial version of my open source, and we don't get as many advancements in Open Board View eventually. And also, I can't put in as much because basically I have to choose between fixing main boards. Uh, fixing electronics or working on the software which can help everyone else fix their electronics. So it's a trade-off and it's a hybrid system. I've found it works quite well and it does end up giving back to the community anyway and is that a bunch of junk on the other side there? Yeah, there's a bunch of junk on the other side there. So while it may not perhaps resonate with the um, purists, uh, it is something that tends to work, however, in reality. And at the end of the day, everybody ends up winning. I get to earn a living, and I get to develop the software that then gets pushed back to the open source. And the open source then gets progress. And so it may not be as immediately, but it does still happen. Yeah, like I said, I know there's a couple of people who are a little bit not overly 100% happy with it, and that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's their opinion. And, of course, there's nothing stopping them going ahead and doing their own version of whatever I'm doing. Yeah, it's just the nature. That's competition in the software world. Got a bit of junk there. I'll have to watch that out. Uh, that there, I'll have to find out what that is. But, realistically, you know, we've all got to... In this day and age, we're going to feed ourselves and we're going to make progress in our lives. We've got to buy houses or whatever. And this is the way I do it. Because at this point, it seems like I'm probably not doing a great job on board repairs. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that, this is ugly.